Good afternoon, and um, I want to make a few comments. First of all, uh, I got a phone call uh, very early this morning uh, about an issue um, with DDOT. And, and that issue was that one of our bus drivers uh, had been attacked by a couple of people, and our bus drivers didn't feel safe uh, to go out on their duties today. I need to tell you, um, as of about 1.30, the bus has started to roll again. Okay. The city of Detroit, and before I start, let me, I see some of our city council people here. I really want to thank you for coming because this is an issue not about the mayor's office, not about city council, not about DDOT, it's about our city and the safety of our workers and the safety of our citizens. The city of Detroit is committed to providing safe and secure work environments for all of our workers. This morning, I met with bus drivers along with DDOT and Detroit police officials to better understand and address their security and safety concerns. I am pleased to announce that we have an understanding that has the buses rolling back on the street and in service for our passengers. The city is committed to providing security for both bus drivers and passengers alike. And we will not, we will not tolerate behavior on DDOT buses, period. We all have to show respect for each other. And in that spirit today, and in a show of unity, we have agreed to the following. There will be zero tolerance for unacceptable behavior toward bus drivers. Zero tolerance for negative behavior towards our bus drivers. The Detroit Police Department will immediately institute random pullovers and boardings of our buses citywide. Detroit Police will also increase their presence of officers here at the Rosa Parks Transportation Center and will have an increased presence throughout the city. I'm happy to say that Crime Stoppers, Crime Stoppers will immediately offer $1,000 rewards for the identification of those who engage in improper conduct against our drivers and results in arrests or convictions. The city is committed to prosecution to the fullest extent in these type of crimes. DPD is committed to monthly meetings to make sure they are consistently employed. I want to take this opportunity to thank and recognize the union leadership, Henry Gaffey, who would come up in just a moment to make some remarks. I also would like to thank A.C. Logan from our De Detroit Police Department, who will also make remarks. I want to recognize and thank from the Police Department, D.C. Tolbert and Inspector Wilson. And for everybody's edification, this location will be the base for our reservists so that we've got constant overview of what's going on as it relates to not only this world-class facility so that we can protect it and make sure that information is getting out all across the city relative to what's happening with our transportation system. So at this point in time, I once again want to say that we are working together from a city leadership standpoint, from our workers, from our unions, from our police department. 
At this point in time, I'd like for Henry Gaffney to come to the podium, please. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Um, first of all, on behalf of myself and my members, we do apologize to any other citizens that was causing inconvenience today. But you know, some drastic things have happened in the last few months that uh, we had to get straight. So we appreciate the administration for sitting down with us today so we could come to an understanding to better protect our members, my members, and the citizens of Detroit. The hundred and some thousand people who ride the bus every day, they need to feel safe when they're out there going from point A to point B. And that's probably the most important thing. And uh, we appreciate Crime Stoppers. We appreciate the Detroit, D Detroit Police Department that have guaranteed that they're going to be more visible on the buses and supply that protection for not only my members, but for the citizens. And we're asking that whoever took that video yesterday of the incident down here in Rosa Park, we would want you to come forward and give us a copy of that video so Detroit police could cap capture those people and we could put that to arrest. So once again, I thank the mayor and his entire administration and the police and the director of DDOT for helping us bring this to an end today. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Assistant Chief Logan from the Detroit Police Department. Uh, I've been in a series of meetings all day with uh, members from the uh, uh, Bus Drivers Union. And this morning, just this morning, we made a pledge that we were going to get to the bottom of this. Uh, we pledged that we'd have more police officers visible. And if you look out in front of you, you'll see that we're going to keep our promise. We've also made a promise that we're going to meet on a monthly basis to ensure that any security concerns are, in fact, addressed. The mayor's provided us, us uh, being the police department, our marching orders, and rest assured those orders will be carried out, not only for the safety of our bus drivers, but for the safety of our citizens and the riders on, on those buses. Thank you. Uh, at this point, I just want to reemphasize zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. We are not going to allow these hooligans to take over our city and threaten our people. That is not going to happen. At this point, I want to thank all of you for your support. And please get the word out. Zero tolerance. Thank you. questions. I can't remember them all. <laughs> okay. What we're doing now, the first thing, let me admit, this is not a short-term fix. This is a problem that's been going on in this city for the last 20 or 30 years. And I think it's unreasonable for anybody to believe that we're going to fix this problem in the next 30 days. That doesn't mean that we can't make improvements. On an average, we have had a need for 305 buses per day. In the last six months, we've averaged about 200 buses a day. Over the last 30 days, that number is starting to increase. The last number I saw was 237 buses. Still not enough. So there are problems, no doubt, that we have in terms of being able to get additional buses on the street. Our goal is to try to get back to what our need is, 305, but it's not going to happen overnight, nor will it happen in a 30-day period. But we're making progress. We have sat down with the Mechanics Union, and there are some things that we're discussing now to become more efficient. Those conversations are ongoing. And as we complete those conversations, we'll make it available to the public.
I don't want to talk about the Water Department right now. I think that's probably a little later this afternoon. What I want to deal with is letting our citizens know, letting our employees, especially bus drivers, know that we're coming to their aid. We're going to support them in every way that we can, and I am so thankful that we've got the resources from the police department that's now going to get more involved, will be more visible, and we'll start taking care of these criminals out here. Thank you very much.